Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath. In the Mastercam Multi Access Tutorial and Toolpath series, we are till create multiple number of videos and more than 26 plus videos on a Mastercam Multi Access different kind of strategy, different kind of parameters, different kind of concept. And now we are on the final chapter of the Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath series. And in this video, we discuss about Mastercam, one of the different operation which we are using for the 2D purpose or it, uh, which we are using for a multi-axis roughing purpose, which is known as 3 plus 2 automatic roughing. It is most different operation as compared to the any other operation and you can use this one operation for the automatically roughing if you have full 5 axis machine on a proper all the proper gadgets like as the proper holding, proper tooling, proper clamping, proper fixtures. So if you have all the important product or if you have all the important fixtures, so you can use this tool path in a proper way. So this is one of the most beautiful operation with from the mass uh, of a master cam. Now we have to create. I already created a tool path right at here, as you can see here. And now first I would like to show you in a 3D simulation how it simulate and how it's work. So for create a 3D simulation I just go to the 3D simulations and now I would like to show you a machine simulation where you can understand all things in a proper way. So I already have a Mastercam DMG DU 5 axis machine and this is my door. First I would like to hide the door color and now let we have to start this chapter. I starting at the starting I reduce the speed of my tool path now as you can see here it start to cut my part in a 3 plus 2 automatic roughing it is different to any other comp type of strategy for the multi axis but it's a simple you have to use some concept you have to use some trick and if you have these knowledge if you have a no good knowledge of indexing programming so you can easily create this one program and now we will learn each and every single parameter of this one most beautiful tool path now as you can see here this is my simulation this is start to cut from the top portion once my top portion is done uh, tool automatically tilting as per automatically the things parameters all are the automatic if any one of person who told you the master game is not good for 5 axis master game is not a good software just tell him to watch this video master game do anything the right thing if you have a good knowledge you can do anything with this one of the world best cam software world best product so as you can see here this is fully automatically cutting for the different plane with the different type of areas now as you can see here with the help of different state planes now my part is getting uh, roughing is completed so let we have to came to the back to the operations and now we have to learn about that how we can create this beautiful tool path so first when i starting to create this tool path first i have to delete everything so just click on a delete all operations and just say okay so this is my part which is i already made in the starting level and this is my fixture which i make in the bottom one level so for for the few time i just hide my fixture the first step when we are have to create a 3 plus 2 automatic graphing we need a stock model so for creating a stock model i have to came in a stock model and with the help of a rectangular i just say all entities and just change the color and say okay i make a name a stock and just say okay so now as you can see here this is my stock model and now this is my part now in the next step i have to on the fixture so this is my again the fixture which is now on work so now in the next step let we have to came on a master cam multi axis tool path and we have to use or we have to define tool path and the remaining all parameters so first thing is we have to select a tool before selecting a tool there is one important parameter that is called model geometry in a model geometry there are two options are available one is the machining geometry and second one is the avoidance geometry this is similar to the over mill 3d tool paths so in a machining geometry as you know that we have to select uh, select all entities from the level one this is machining geometry and 
now write it here click on this and select all entities from the stop model if you want to make some margin from this one so you can define right at here and just say okay if you are planning for that we have to just define this parameter and now you can say okay so you can't create the tool part we have to give this is first step we are defining the machining geometry this is the fixture or avoidance geometry in the next step we have to define the tool for the selecting a tool i just choose the tool that is 12 mm of ball, bull nose which radius is 0.5 in the next step we have to define a stock in a stock we have to say this is my stock and now that is the stock area the next important parameter is the cutting parameter in a cutting parameter there are multiple options we are using the dynamic here we have to defining the value is depth of cut for now i just say 8 mm of depth of cut and second one is this is value of step over for now uh, i make a something roughing passes or something like that so i define the stepper value is 10 mm there are some methods like as a cut method you already aware if you watching all the previous video of the multi axis you know what is the one way what is the zigzag what is the direction of a clamp milling so you aware about all this if you want to make some containment you can you if you want to make some rest material or rest crossing so you can also do that is the next step is the tool axis control here is the all the things that we have to defining in the 3 plus 2 automatic graphing in a 3 plus 2 automatic roughing there are the three methods available for this one tool part first is the automatic where the everything tool axis everything will be controlled from the software all the de details will be provided from the software side the second one is the manual this is the best method you can create the tool path according to your requirement according to your control this is the best method i really appreciate that one method and mostly use this and the third one is semi automatic where you define something software calculating some uh, add some additional things but the best method is uh, manual where you have multiple control so this is uh, now we have to define the plane the first plane is uh, just say select plane and search say top means at the first portion when tool have to start to cut that time is to start to cut from the top now i just say add select plane and now i just say side it's mean in a second portion tool have to be cut my part metal from the side i just said okay for these two and just say okay now let we have to see the tool regeneration and i want to see the tool path for my part so now as you can see here this is my tool path is done as we created the tool path with the help of the manual method so it's starting to cut from the top portion once my top portion is done it is starting to cut from the right side there is no fixture clamping no collision nothing the everything is with the fully safety and the tool path is created like this have a look of this one so that is we are defined created the tool path from the two side only if you want to add some multiple faces you can do the same method you can say add select a plane and the easiest method for this one you can just uh, select the, your view for example i want to make a tool path from this one side left side so you can create uh, first the view properly and after that you can say graphical view it means it automatically take as per the view you are choosing if you want to make the back for the back you can go and choose the view uh, back so automatically choosing the view it means automatically choosing the plane basically so tool have to be came from the back side and removing the most of the material from the back so as you can see here now we are selecting the three different plane first top then left and after completing of the left we are choosing third one is from the right so that's the thing as we defining right at here the tool path is created according to that so for example if we have a particular face like this kind of face this one face and we have to create a tool path from reference to this way so what we have to do we have to came in a parameter uh, right click add select a plane from a solid face just click on this now have a look z x and y just say ok and ok so as you can see here my tool path is now created properly and this is 
Now at the fourth step when tool have to be came from the top left right and after that it will be came from this one direction and tool will be created perfectly as per our requirement as per our need so that's uh, basic things and a way that we are creating toolpath so i hope you will get understand about that how my toolpath are created with the help of this beautiful method 3 plus 2 we can create toolpath from any particular plane with the very simple and easiest method to create the toolpath so this is a basic of concept of 3 plus 2 automatic graphing if you want to create fully automatically you can just copy and paste and now go to the parameter in a cut tool axis control in the L place of manual you can choose the automatic for example if for now if I choosing the automatic so it's take much time to create a tool path but you can choose and you can try with this method and watch that how it's reacted and this is the basic concept of 3 plus 2 automatic graphene if you have any question or a doubt let us know we are always here to help you and if you need these models please join our mastercam multi axis toolpath button from the youtube so see you in the next video i hope you learn all about the multi axis so keep learning keep growing